So 2022 was a big year for me. I finished my first year of work, I got engaged, and I started taking my sort of dream of making YouTube videos seriously for the first time. And I'm out here now at the local nature reserve, trying to push myself out of the comfort zone a bit, and filming in public, just setting up the intro for this video, which will be over the three uh, podcasts that have most sort of driven me to starting doing this dream of uh, making YouTube videos. So um, I hope you find it really useful. And there's also a couple of podcasts in there to do with living a healthier life as well as sort of inspirational for creative stuff. So I hope you find it useful. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a movie. So I've just got back from my walk around the nature reserve which will hopefully be all the b-roll for this uh, video um, and hopefully is where you saw me record the introduction which I hope you could hear. Um, sadly that nature reserve is right next to like a rubbish dump that processes rubbish so it's very noisy. Now funnily enough two of the three podcasts that were my favourite last year are run by two of my favourite YouTubers. However the third one may surprise you and it's probably been the most influential of all three but if i'm going to start anywhere it has to be with the ground up show which was run by matt diavella uh, which sadly stopped in 2019 uh, june 2019 and i didn't start listening to it about a year after it stopped but don't let that put you off it because it's got so much value matt has recorded 111 episodes that are all about sort of helping creative people see where other successful creators have started from the ground up I first found Matt in 2020 after I read the book The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry which has been mentioned a lot recently on this channel um, but effectively when I was researching minimalism I found him as he's made two uh, documentaries on Netflix about minimalism with The Minimalists so he really does know what he's talking about in this area. Anyway this was the podcast that kickstarted it all for me. He was the one who got me thinking that an alternative path to work and making money and doing life was possible. And my favourite episode was probably one that was called The Business of Coffee, which effectively was with one of Matt's friends who also owns a coffee roasting business, um, that they also own a couple of cafes, and he's a YouTuber on the side. Um, and I just found it so interesting as it broke down this sort of businessy end of how to create a business um, that has good values and that uh, people enjoy working for. But then it also had this element of why does he make YouTube videos at the same time and, you know, what is this creative outlet sort of for? Um, so it was really interesting to sort of have a balance of the two. Now, in case all of that didn't sound enough for you to go listen to it, Matt also has a pretty uh, big obsession with The Rock and trying to get The Rock on his podcast, which sadly he never did. Um, however, it is a constant sort of subplot within every single episode which is very funny to uh, watch and see how it develops. I think Matt still wants to get him on his YouTube channel though, um, but that is another sort of bonus if you watch his podcast or listen to his podcast. So if Matt Diavella started it all for me, Ali Abdul has definitely taken over as someone who massively inspires me as a new creator. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, that is pretty evident as he gets mentioned pretty much every single video. And he talks with some pretty big names, such as uh, Brandon Sanderson, MKBHD, Mr. Who's the Boss, um, and it's sort of a similar tone to the Ground Up show, in that it talks through people's uh, journeys of how they've become, become successful. However, in, in the name obviously there's deep dive, so they do go a bit deeper into what drives them and how they sort of work, uh, which is really interesting. Topics that they discuss include things like sleep, uh, brain health, productivity, business, uh, personal finance, all these sort of self-development type things. And a unique thing um, about Ali, which I, I think most people kind of like, but maybe some people don't, is that he almost turns most of his episodes into almost like a personal therapy session where he gets the person to help him with that particular issue, whether it's sleep, uh, business, m you know, motivation, meaning, things like this. And I think that that actually adds a real interesting element to it and how they sort of attack a problem. And my favorite episode was one that I've recently talked about on the channel, which was with a guy called Russell Foster, who's a sleep expert from the University of Oxford. Um, so if you wanna watch that video, then you can have a little look, because there's a little snippet from that podcast. And finally, the podcast that's been the most influential from like an overall life perspective is called Rhythms for Life. And this podcast came sort of from a book that one of the hosts called Rebecca uh, wrote, which was called Rhythms of Renewal. Uh, and she runs the podcast with her husband, Gabe. And the sort of subsection 
of this book is Trading Stress and Anxiety for a Life of Peace and Purpose. And effectively the book and therefore the podcast is just all about rhythms and how we can sort of live a healthier, happier kind of life. And to be honest, it's been really helpful for me at times, particularly during difficult points in my life last year. So the overall structure of the book and, and the podcast come down to four key rhythms, which uh, she says are rest, restore, connect and create. So they have people coming on the podcast talking about you know healthy eating, um, technology and our relationship with technology, all the way to our relationship with our friends and our family. And they also talk a lot about uh, mental health and how to sort of live with and deal with anxiety and stress and all these different things, which has been really helpful. And it is a Christian podcast and it has a really awesome faith element that I find uh, really inspiring and actually helpful for me personally. So if you're in need of a podcast that's sort of like a free uh, therapy session, then this could be a really good shout as it doesn't leave you sort of feeling like, oh, I need to go do stuff now to feel worthwhile. Instead, it just allows you to sit back and relax and just listen to the wisdom of the people that they have on. And it really helps you to think long and hard about what rhythms you have in place and how they help you to live a healthier, sort of more restful uh, life. And recently I made a video about probably the most important rhythm, which Rebecca does talk about in her book as well, uh, which is Sabbath, uh, effectively taking a full day off from work. And I think it's quite an interesting video and I think it's probably the most influential uh, rest rhythm that there is. So <laughs> I would strongly recommend you check that out if you're interested. But anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Lovely and peaceful over here. And then a trash compactor over there. Time to head back home now.